or live. I got started a little bit late, guys. I'm sorry. Happy New Year to me. Hello, D. Yes, I was a few moments late. I was having an issue. I choked on something and I kept coughing. I should move this up just a tad, I guess. I know. That's me. I have some kind of a choking issue. We were eating sauerkraut and I kept choking on it. I don't know. I'm a cuckoo head. Sorry, I'm assuming you're ready for your sale. I, I cut down on my items today because, uh, no, it's not good. My daughter told me I needed to have some kind of test done. But I, you know what? I'm tired of getting tests for every time I blow my nose. So, uh, anyway, hi, Jerry Ellsworth. How are you? So, are you ready for your sale tomorrow, D? I'm sure you are. Swallow evaluation? Uh, yeah. How'd you know about that? Well, good. I'm glad you're mighty fine. Have you had one, D? Hi, John and Marianne. Happy New Year to you, too. Hi, John and Marianne. Hi, Belinda. Ah, uh, that's right. That's right, because my daughter told me, uh, one time I had pneumonia and I didn't have any symptoms, and I said she was talking about somebody that had pneumonia that was, um, it was from aspiration, and I said, oh, I bet that's what I had. So then I was telling her I choked all the time. And she said, you need to have a swallow evaluation. I said, oh, I've always had this problem. I don't know. When I was young, old, in between. So I have my new glasses and I still can't, I mean, unless I'm further away, I guess. I still can't see. Lisa Liza. Hello. I'm I don't know how to pronounce your name, but hi Jen Weeks. Happy New Year. Lisa, okay. It's a very pretty spelling. Hi Dana. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. I like a much better uh I'm going to get even some other ones because, uh, I don't know, the other ones I cut my face off. I didn't like them. They just didn't look good. And Ron got new glasses, and his are very attractive as well. We're getting in, we're getting into the 21st century here. It only took us 21 years. <laughs> uh, so did everybody... Uh, have a good night last night, or I we did we didn't do much. We I talked to people on the phone. We toasted uh, champagne. Well, at midnight we had champagne, but Ron pretty much slept while I was uh, yeah. slept at eleven. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I talked to uh, D. I talked to my friend Terry. I was doing all kind of stuff, all kind of stuff. So. Yeah, if you guys think of it, you could give me a thumbs up. Oh, that's right. I figured that's what you meant. Well, it, truthfully, well, even if I would have been asleep, the people next door, they're young. They let off some fireworks, so I would have probably been uh, awake, regardless, at midnight. But... Okay, so I didn't know if I could 
type it in because I'm going right through uh, YouTube. So I made this up and it's backwards. Now that's really weird. It's backwards. Because everything normally is backwards. It's backwards if you write it. No, no, no. Oh, would you do me a favor and grab me that red pen and I'll write it the right way. I spent 10 minutes fiddling around trying to get this backwards because everybody's always saying everything's backwards. So, uh, no, it's, it's upside down underneath that little tiny eraser. There you go. Just bring me the whole thing because it's got an eraser on the end. I'll tell you. Why I spend my time wasting it on silliness like this, I don't know. Now, somebody can, tr thank you, Cindy. Somebody can try to type it in and see if it'll stay up, but it's still backwards. Why would no, it's not. It's, oh, oh, it's only backwards to me? To you, it's not backwards? No, it's not. It's okay. fine. All right, so that is my email address. For uh, if you buy something, I'll show it a few times. Um, you know, you can email me with your information. And it go it needs to go to AOL because I keep, every once in a while somebody sends it to, uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Gmail. Gmail. And then I do finally look and I find it, but it's AOL. Hi, Empty Nesting 2. We're funny, yeah. <laughs> we're a riot. Uh, I heard you were undecorating. Thought you were going to leave it up for a while. I'm leaving mine up for at least another week. And then I, I will probably bring it. I actually was toying around with leaving it up for a month. All year. <laughs> yeah, today is the first. Christmas isn't over till the till Epiphany. You're Catholic. You should know this. We go by the Serbian one anyway. Uh, Ron, Ron did, I did not give Ron any cashews for Christmas. I don't even think I bought him any. I haven't bought him any. Eh. So, um, yeah, that that's. I'm okay with the end of January. Um, especially because I put it up late, so. I had said to Ron I'd take it down, and he said, no, I don't want it down yet. She wants to, she likes, she's wanting to redecorate her house and move things around again. Which I wouldn't mind doing either, but. She wants to rejuvenate 2021. I've been working on just trying to find places to put stuff. <clears throat> because they don't have a garage to store all my... Right, January 6th. Or so. It's usually 6th or 7th. But, um... So... I just... Uh, it feels like Sunday to me, too. I keep thinking it's Sunday. So I'll have to keep, I'll have to remind myself that it's not. Well, anyway, I started to say I have less items today because Dee and I are going to have a sale on Wednesday and I'm going to have 30 items then. So uh, then the following week I'll have my regular amount or more. Who knows? Um, I'm trying to get a grip on these things here and have a re more regular schedule so if is everybody ready would you like to see anything or 
Would you like to listen to me choke some more? Or, you know. Um, I'm going to start with a couple of little things. And then uh, I have big things and little things. And almost everything I'm showing you, I've never shown you before. I, I, there might be one thing, but I don't think even there's, I don't think there's one thing. Hi, Pat Hall. How are you, sweetie? Well, my small thing I'm going to start with, and it's kind of funny because it's got some little styrofoam pieces in it. Because I'm thinking they might have tried to use it either A for a planter or B, some little kid put it in. I'm not sure which, but it's a little tiny toothpick holder and it says home sweet home on it so for those of you guys who either collect toothpick holders or uh blue and white stuff this is right up your alley and where did they put the thing on it or i came off um would you look it's like the very end on the second page it's somewhere from Sweet Home. Uh, it's number 24, $3. Okay. I was hoping I could at least get to the first thing without a mistake, but it is number 24. It's got this little wire bale thing here, which I think is really cute. And it's $3. Number 24, $3. And there's nothing wrong with it other than the little bit of styrofoam in here. Hi, Nate. Happy New Year. Uh, which, like I said, I'm going to take out. But, I mean, it's in perfect condition. I think I'm going to take a wild guess that it's from Made in Japan. It just looks like it. Okie dokie. And now, I am going to show you this. Um swan which I thought was so pretty and then when I went to, I bought it at the Goodwill they just threw it in a bag and it split I mean it was a perfectly good clean break so I did glue it back together um, I don't know you can't really hardly see it but it's so pretty on the front look at this here and there's all the petals and everything, you know, all that's there, as far as I can tell. Oh, that might be broke. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But anyway, I think it's very pretty. It's a little planter. Um, it is a K's creation. And it is number 22, and it's $3. Number 22, $3. Hi, Maria. Hi, Chicago lady. Happy New Year, guys. Okay. I have this really cool um, planter. It's, I believe it's brass and copper and Maybe like nickel or I don't know what that one is. Stainless steel. It's pretty shiny. Hi, Mary Dugan. And, uh, but it's like on the inside, it's, uh, looks like brass. But it is a planter. And I thought it was really cool and interesting. It's been used. Uh, yeah, it's brass because it's brass on the bottom. It is number 27, and it is $8. Number 27, $8. That blue flamingo says hello, Jackie. Hi, Lori. How are you, honey? This is a time of year that we uh, 
Make reservation. Reserv I said that yesterday, too. That's because we did. <laughs> Resolutions. And we decide to do things. We fix up ourselves. We also like to fix up our house. And so I have this super cool um, book that is, I'm trying to think, I, I was trying to remember what year it was from. I'm going to say it's from the 50s or 60s. I think it had a date. It does not have, they don't have zip code, 1954. And it is a popular science, popular science, how to improve your house inside and out. It was a dollar at the time. And it has all kinds of things, how, how to do things, how to build a flagstone walk, uh, really cool pictures. I mean, a por porch converted to an extra room. I wish somebody would have looked at this when they did it at my old house because they didn't do a very good job. Screened porch is prefab. Ooh, is prefab job. I want a screen porch. So it's got all these things you can do to your house and uh, like little hints um, about how to hang your clothes on the clothesline and just various things. I think it's very cool. Look at this little girl here. Is she not adorable? She's about the age I would have been at that time. Scary. Anyway, so I mean, it's still useful, or you could just use it for all kinds of stuff, junk journaling, whatnot. It is number 21, and it's $5. Number 21, $5. It's in really good shape. The cover's in good shape. Joelle Nadel. Gotcha, girl. Thank you. And do me a favor and come over and build me a screen porch. I have been wanting one my whole life. My whole life. Oh, that's for sure, Nate. Isn't that the truth? What a suckola year it was. I'll say suckola because... Well, I'm thirsty today. Oh, Joel, is it your birthday? Oh, you're going to get right on that for me. Thank you. Gotcha. Okay, guys. Ooh, my next item, uh, hold on to your hat, uh, Nate, because I got something that you're going to love. This is from the 1950s, and it is a bunny fur um, pillbox hat. Is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? And it was made by Beresford. It's got the little cap on the inside. It's clean. It doesn't look like anybody had a dirty head or it doesn't look like they even wore it much. But look at that. Isn't that sweet? It's fancy. I mean, you could wear it. You could decorate with it. Um, people collect hats. I think this would be a neat addition to a collection. Anyway, it is number two, and it's $9. It's worth it just for the fur. Number two, $9. For the woman who has everything. Nate, this would except be... Except this hat. This would probably be cheap to ship. You could wear it. Your mother could wear it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I don't really know how you wear it, but... Happy and Harned. Happy and Harned. Gotcha, girl. And when you get it, I want to see a picture of this on your head or somebody's head. Or a hat rack. Okay. 
All right, let me put this back so I know what I'm doing here. Oh, could you give me a big flavor and open that window? I am so hot. It might be the vino. A vino. Ron has been giving me. Uh, so am I. I'm from 1950, to be exact. 19 October 12th 1950 was my birthday okay this next item I believe was anchor hawking although it's not marked but I looked it up and I'm Mary Dugan a bed for my kitten a bed for your kitten who said that Mary Dugan oh <laughs> Belinda, him and I, we turned 70 almost on the same day. How cool is that? Happy and Hornets 56. You know what? 70 is the new 30. <laughs> There's a new 12. It is the new 12 because if you've noticed, maybe your body is getting older, but the mind seems to be getting younger and younger. No. <laughs> No. So when I'm doing things, I I'm, I already erased my my uh thing. Um, hi, bargain beauty, Amy. I happy New Year to you too. I've been watching your things to see what was going on in uh in uh, Aldi. I need to get over there. So anyway, this is Anchor Hawking, and I believe it's a covered candy dish. But it doesn't, I don't see the marks on it, but it, I looked it up and it said it was anchor hockey. But it's very pretty and there's nothing wrong with it. It's no dings or anything. It would be very nice for candy or my brother was born October 21st, 1952. Um, it would be great for cashews as well. Am I really? How cool is that? Anyway, um, it would be great for cashews, whatever. And it is number nine. Somebody said it was good for cashews. I did. Oh. Number nine, and it's ten dollars. It's I mean it's a good size thing. It would look really pretty with, and I was gonna put some in it, and then I forgot. M and M's. It would look. Peanut. It would look pretty with them, and it was like at Easter time or Valentine's Day. That would be gorgeous. Like the you know they sell those red and pink. How about ones? the pastel eggs? Or anything. I mean, because it's clear. It's really pretty. I love the the thing here on the lid. I think that's pretty cool. It looks like a German helmet. A German helmet. Anyway, it is number nine. Nothing wrong with it, and it is ten dollars. Okay. All right. After you have made your house beautiful by fixing it, um, you may want to decorate it. And so I have this issue of House Beautiful from 1965. And it is the Pace Setter 65 Edition. From It's from May. And it has all kinds of decorating. Um, What's the name of the magazine? House Beautiful. It has all kinds of, um, you know, decorating ideas. It's got lots of advertisements in here. Like this. It's got one for booze on the back, which is nice. Um, it has, it also has, you know, like, uh, floor plans and stuff. Some of these decorating things are really a uh, hoot. Even the covers, I'd like to have a pool like that. So this, uh, it's a pretty good thick addition. 
is um, $5, and it is number four. $5, number four. Hi, Christy. How are you, sweetheart? Okay. Uh, we got a bunch of them here. The first person I see is Tamara Kilroy. Tamara. Tamara. Tamara Kilroy. Thank you. And I don't know you, so would you please put your, um, or send me your information? I kind of rubbed it off here. But it is Jackie Dimas at AOL.com. I told my brother we need more magazines because I said everybody's loving these things. Alrighty. Let me see if I can do a little trading of stuff here. Oh, I'm being attacked by the... Uh, Somebody said that was a fur halo. Well, yes, I saw that. I'm being attacked by the hats. The hats got me. All right. I have... Lucy Curios. Hi, Elizabeth. I have a sweet little Avon kitty cat. It is still full of... Oh, juice. It is still full of somewhere yeah. cologne and it has the name Sue written on it, which was kind of weird because my mother's name was Sue and she used to sell Avon. But anyway, this is a cute little cat. It's milk glass. And um, there's nothing wrong with it other than, I guess, if you don't like summer cologne, it, you wouldn't like it. But it is number 28. I thought it was cat juice. No. And it's $5. Number 28, $5. Guys, thumbs up. Give me some thumbs. Yes, we have to be somebody. Why is my talking is gone again? I didn't want anyone either. That's what I want. So, did anybody want the little Avon kitty cat for $5? Yeah. With cat juice. Oh, I thought you were saying yes, somebody did. No. Okay. Everybody wants cat juice. Okay, well, don't say yes. I'm confused. Okay, I have a beautiful piece here that I just got not too long ago, and it is... Um, this beautiful art glass bowl. It's got gold in it running through it and stuff. Um, there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. There's no cracks or chips or. Looks like the base of it is more like milk if you look at the back. Anything. It's so pretty. And it is number one. And it is twelve dollars. Number one, twelve dollars. That is very nice. Yeah, it, it would be nice for Valentine's Day, Christmas. It's a like a deep red color and gold. Looks like an agate stone. It does kind of sort of, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Elizabeth, did you have a good Christmas? Hi, Katie. How are you, sweetie? Okay. I have a sweet little um, tea bag holder. It says 
petticoats and pantaloons, 1976 Roth greeting cards. <laughs> well, Lucid Curios, I consumed all my cashews the day I got them. <laughs> oh, shoot. Anyway, um, it does have a little chip here I didn't notice. So I'm going to knock the price down. So this little tea bag holder, which is from, I thought it said 1976. Yeah, 1976 is $3. $3 for the little tea bag holder. Number? And it is number 25. Number 25. Three dollars. Three dollars, because I know I didn't know it had a chip on it. Strip for lucky. That doesn't sound too good. Um, I have this very pretty little dish. It is footed. I would say it's a footed little footed candy dish. Um, it isn't. It isn't hand painted. It is in parts, but it also has the little flowers on our transferware. And um, there's no chips or cracks or anything. Thank you, uh, Lucid. And, um, hi, Christina. The little dish is $4, and it's number 12. $4, number 12. So that's a footed candy dish? That's a footed candy dish. Wooded candy dish. Mary Jo. Okay, thank you, Mary Jo. Gotcha. Yeah, I thought it was really pretty. Okay, I'm trying to push stuff over here. Makovsky. Makovsky. Okay. For those of you who like vintage, um, I have this really old Soda pop bottle. I'm saying soda pop because some say pop and some say soda. Um, it is Burkhart. It doesn't say what was in it. So I don't know if there was a label or what. Um, I tried to get all the dirt out of it. I, I couldn't get it all. But then again, it wasn't. Hi, hi, Sam. I wasn't very, um, I mean, I wasn't very diligent. I tried a couple of times, that's all. But anyway, it's a very old bottle. Um, I looked them up. They're like 30s or earlier. So this bottle is, oh gosh, number 19, Ron? Tell me what. Uh, Burkheart, Burkhart bottle. Is it number 19? Yep, 19. Okay, my handwriting, I couldn't read. And it is $8. $8 for this vintage bottle, Burkhart soda bottle. It's really old looking. That's what, 1930s? At least, maybe even older. Maybe even older than that. Older than us? Older than us. Okay, I have what I think is an extremely gorgeous bell. This is the top of the bell. It is cut crystal. It has these crystal beads for the, as Dee calls them, dingers. 
The clacker. For the clapper. It has such a pretty little sound. And uh, I don't, you know, if you collect bells. Or even if you don't. Hi, Diane Carter. Or if you don't, you might want to start this year. Because I have several that are very beautiful coming up. Thank you, Erin. Happy New Year to you. Um, and the bell is $10. Oh, I meant to tell you also that it is called Krosno, and it's made in Poland. It's from Poland. And it is $10, and it's number 17. Chat is flying by. I can't read it. Alrighty. Um, Mary Jo. Thank you, Mary Jo. Gotcha. I should just hook myself up to the faucet. Man. Okay. This is something my brother brought me, and I, it is gorgeous. Um, it is a porcelain. It says Japanese porcelain wares hand decorated in Hong Kong. It is a porcelain bowl. It does have some light cracks here. Um, I would say you it's... you call it crazy? I would say it's crazy, yes. But it is a porcelain bowl. And then the back of it is, it is encased in brass. And it does say on the back... Japanese porcelain wares hand decorated in Hong Kong. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And uh, it's done. To, I mean, the colors are just spectacular. Judy Reardon Reardon, did you ever get my information to invoice me? Uh, yes. I did invoice you. I believe. And you paid me, I think. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Christmas really screwed everything up. I will check. Anywho. So what's that one more time? It's a Japanese porcelain bowl. And it is brass on the back. With a little bit of crazing. And it is number 20. Number 20. And it is $12. Hand painted. Well, if you did, I will be sending it to you. Yes, it is this Wednesday, which is why I didn't show as much today. Um, I'll be showing 30 items on Wednesday. So, and I have almost 30 today. Um, anyway, okay, so... We got this. Okay. I'm so confused. <laughs> Ron's yawning. Tell him to stop. Guys, come on. He's wearing me out. Okay, guys, look at these. Look at these. These, I will look forward to all you guys being there, I tell you. Because we're going to have a ball. Me and Dee... Always have a ball, even when we're not supposed to be. Even when we're supposed to be serious, we're not. Look at these gorgeous um, candle holders. Candle holders, and I, I was I have some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wasn't sure about them for a long time if they were depression glass, but I watched. Um, our dear friend, um, let me think of his name now, Scott, at the Old Curiosity Shop. And he said that Jeanette class, their pink was almost a peach color. So these are Jeanette glass. I looked them up and sure, sure enough, their color is more of a peach color. And these are not only depression glass, but they're what they call, I believe, fancy depression glass. 
because they are etched on the bottom and stuff. They're not just a plain molded piece. And uh, there's nothing wrong with them at all, except they need some candles. And love. Them. And love. They gotta have some love, people. They're a matched pair. Um, these would be so pretty, like at Easter time or any time, really. And uh, they are no wrong one. They are ten dollars for the pair, and they are number. 18. Hi, Butterfly Nurse. How are you? It was so much fun to see you in person yesterday. You you look so different than what I imagined. For some reason, I imagined this really skinny little woman with black hair. You're really cute. You're adorably cute. Happy and Haunted, number 18. Thank you, Happy and Haunted. What is your first name? I'm sure you probably told me. But I don't remember. Is it Tony? Is it... Kathy, Kathy. Put down that Kathy. In parentheses, so I'll remember. Thank you, Kathy. I don't want to call you Haunted. I know you bought stuff for me, and I know it's Haunted Kentucky, I believe, right? Because when I saw your name, I thought it has to be some town. Well, I'm glad you're happy in Harned because so many people are not happy where they're at. Okay. Yes, I think these are fabulously pretty. Okay. These are Fort Knox. Is it? Well, Fort Knox is an, a mighty nice place. Yeah, I've been to, let's see. East of Fort Knox. Hello, Josie. Hi, Josie. I'm not sure if I've been there or not. Or in that area. I can't remember. Um, I have what we commonly call the cracked egg. Uh, it is made in Japan. This one is, I've had them before. This one is a, it's not pink. It's it's a white color. And then it's got the pink roses and they are transfer wear. Um, it has a little bit of gold on it. Not a lot. And somebody put a candle in it. Now, I know how to take them out, but I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to break it. So... Um, you know, you can put it in the refrigerator, or I mean in the freezer and let it get real cold and you can work it out that way. Um, or you could even work at it and burn it out, you know, burn it till it comes out. Anyway, it is, uh, a sweet little cracked egg. And it Josie's is... Josie's Butterfly Kiss is, uh, is Mary Ann. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, This is $6. And it's number 15. $6, number 15. Hi, Lisa Pinos. It's a good thing I don't get paid... To pronounce names because I would be extremely poor. Uh, Christina Aguilar. Yep. Thanks, sweetheart. I got you. Um, I don't remember where I was at. Okay. Are there any swan lovers out there today? Because I have a very, very, oh, you're Lily. Hi, Lily. I bought your picture. 
And that was so beautiful. I can't wait to get it and hang it up. You're, you have a very uh, good future ahead of you uh, being an artist. So I have this extremely cool, I would say mid-century modern set of swans, black swans. And they're pr pretty heavy. They do have felt on the bottom. They're um, porcelain, it looks like to me, porcelain. Rocky brought these to me. Yeah, if you've got uh, mid-century modern in your house, this would be a perfect piece. Or just accents. Well. Of course. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, if you even if you don't have mid-century, just, I mean, it, it, just an accent. Right, but it would go perfect in mid-century modern decor. Anyway. Well, that's too obvious. They are $10 for the pair, and they're number 23. $10 for the pair, number 23. There's no cracks. No or, hits, no runs, or no errors. Chips. Or anything like no that. No crazing, no nothing. I like the fact that there's a felt on the bottom. It might be covering up something important like, see that's round there? It could be money hidden in there. Got you, Elizabeth girl. Hi, Karen's Vintages and more. Good to see you. Those are curios. <laughs> Somebody just got, uh, Elizabeth just got cashews in honor of you. <laughs> Lord bless her. Hi, Judy Scalet. How are you, girl? Okay, so we got our beautiful swans. Gosh, uh, Elizabeth, that's kind of out of your wheelhouse. Don't you like uh, butterflies? I've heard you love butterflies. What's Vintage's name? Vintage by now. Uh, Katie. Katie. Katie, I've got something that you might like coming up right now. Katie, bless you, sister. Why, did she sneeze? No. She bought uh, cashews in uh, my honor. Oh, it was Katie. I thought it was uh, Elizabeth. Today we had freezing rain all day, and at one point the uh, electric was flickering a little bit, and I thought, oh, geez, it's going to mess up everything. But I think it's warmed up where it's now uh, not freezing. I have this, Katie, for you. Yeah. It is a vintage um, record album. The 45s. Or 45s and well you could put little small other ones in it and it has a bunch of 45s in it it's got uh odem golden slippers by the peter pan players and the bible tells me so is the back side uh till i waltz again with you yeah this one is like a got more than one song on it but anyway it's got several of uh, vintage records jingle bells uh, jambalaya Ooh. just walking in the rain wake up little Susie Emily Brothers um, Bernadine I mean it's kind of a Mishmash of stuff. Patty Page, Allegheny Moon. All right. There's a bunch of us old enough to know what 45s are, and this is a beautiful. So it's it's beautiful album. I mean, it's not in perfect shape, but it's in really good shape, and it'll hold a lot of records. It's neat because they have a list of what they did have in there at one time, which is kind of cool. And it is ten dollars. Um, and it is number forty or forty-five. 
It is number 23. $10, number 23. Seven. It's number 27? Seven. A record album with records. No, it's $10. Okay, Katie's got it. Katie? Mm-hmm. Vintage and vinyl. Yes, that would be vintage and vinyl. I was saving this for you, girl. I knew you might want it. Thank you very much, girlfriend. I hope you enjoy it and... It was very cool. That's Katie, right? Yeah. You can put it, you know, as... Katie, it's one of the things, the coolest things that uh, I think, well, you know, it's come along in our, our sale. I almost missed it, too. I was walking out of the store. We were leaving, and I looked down, and I said, oh, wait a minute, I got to get this. I thought it was so cool. And yesterday, or the other day when I was shopping, I thought I found one of those, you know, the cases that had the, like, latch and the handle. I thought I'd found one of those, but it wasn't that. Oh, I was so disappointed. Hello, Sue Spizio. Yeah, hi, Sue. Are you our night night girl? Alrighty. So I have this bowl here, and it is Ellie Smith. And what is the uh? It's at the very beginning of the list. Ellie Art, Smith. Art glass? No, Ellie Smith. Oh, that's number five, and it's nine dollars. No, what's the, what did I put on there? What's it called? L. E. Smith, Hob Star and Arches. Yeah, Hob Star and Arches is candy the, dish. Is the pattern? It's a candy dish. Um, I did not feel anything wrong with it. Poodle, how are you? Other than it's lacking candy. Um, I don't feel it. It feels sharp on here, but it's not. There might be a little doink there, but it's like the way it's cut. Anyway, it is number five, and it's eight dollars. What? Never mind. How much is it? Nine dollars? Yep. It's nine dollars. Never mind. Number five. I can't read my writing. My pen was too thick. Nine dollars. Number five. All right. Um, I have this. It is made in Japan. It's a quality product. It is a reticulated edge. And it is something that we probably should have in our homes for sure beginning this year. It may help with problems. It, it says, Ronald, I'm talking. Ronald. Yes. Please. It's Kathy's clown. It says, bless this house, O Lord, we pray. Make it safe by night and day. Bless these walls so firm and stout, keeping want and trouble out. Bless the roof and chimneys tall. Let thy peace be over all. This is a very old saying. I'm sure you've heard it. Bless the door that it may prove ever open to joy and love. So it's got the stringy here to hang it up. And um, it might be nice to have this hanging up to, um, yeah, for a good year. Good thing to have the beginning of the year. Right over the front door. And it is $7. And it's number six. I like the color on it and everything it's really colorful that one goes right over the front door people bless this house poodle poodle your house will be blessed the rest of us are going to not be blessed 
we're going to suck. We're going to be scared. No, as long as we sing Kathy's Clown. Uh, if I was... You get, you're not supposed to sing... I just did that much. We're legal. Well, please don't. You love his song or you love uh, the... No, she loves the song. Oh, whatever. Everybody loves the song. Okay, guys. Here I, goes. Drum roll. I have three of these. I'm only going to show you two because I've only got two hands. Um, these are very nice, heavy mugs. Um, they are um, pottery and... They're stamped 1982 on the bottom. You will not burn your hands on these. And what is the name, Ronald? They are... Number? Hold on a minute. They're $9 for the three mugs. And they're number 11. Heartstone mugs. They're Heartstone pottery mugs. Couldn't remember. Beautiful people I have a Southwest uh, decor on them. Yeah, uh, which is in 1982. That was, you know, that was a big thing, but it's all coming back now. So, and it's a nice, they're nice and neutral. So. They would go with anything, but the nice thing about it is you can pour hot tea or hot coffee in there. Oh, yeah, and I was going to say... And uh, not burn your hands. They're that thick. They're signed. At least this one is. Yeah, they're signed. Like right here. There's three of them, remember. And they're what? Number nine? No. They're number 11, nine dollars. Number 11. Number oh, 11. Okay, now, I'm, now I'm getting cold. Do you see my tree uh, back here? It, see, see my finger? It is made out of... Um, I bought candlestick holders... Or, you know, things to put candles in that are red and clear. And I bought them to go with this. And I don't know where I put them. However, I wouldn't have put them, I couldn't have put them with them anyway because I put it on my my three tiered tray that I made. But anyway, uh, they're made out of beads and safety pins. It's made out of beads and safety pins. And normally it has a star on the top, but I put a Santa up there. And uh, it just has stuffed inside of it a, a string of, you know, little fairy light or, you know, little lights. And I just, I'll tell you, it's so pretty at night. You just, it's gorgeous. I ramble on, don't I? All righty. Ramble on. I have the box for this, but I wanted to show you out of the box. Yes, I thought the Santa looked very appropriate on top. Hi. Oh, hi. Anna, right? Good morning. Um, I have this very pretty um, photo album. This is glass. So you can put, uh, and it, it comes, the back comes off. So you can put like a, you know, one picture in the front. And then you can just prop it up like on a coffee table. It holds, I believe, 100 pictures. And this would be so nice for if you had wedding pictures or Christmas pictures or, uh, you know, you wanted to put all your grandkids in in a one book or something. Um, I think it's really neat. It's all velvet, um, except for the front part, which is um, pewter. And like I said, I do have the box for it. It's brand new. It's never been used. <laughs> Elderly poodle. Ron, <laughs> just, Ron just broke into Led Zeppelin. Yeah, he's... 
Uh, oh, you all want to see biscuit later? Uh, yeah. She biscuit. Is, oh, biscuit. No, that's my that's my daughter's dog. I was gonna say, um, Bandit is not feeling too well. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's been kind of gagging and stuff. And I noticed he had. Uh, I was <laughs> gonna tell Ron he had a little bit of the uh, diarrhea kind of stuff going on. I told him not to drink last night. I told him not to party, but he wouldn't listen. Anyway, this here uh, thing <laughs> is $5, and it is number 14. Picture album. Yes. The picture album. $5. Very and, nice. And it is number 14. Very pewter. Got the box for Yeah, Dee had to grab this one for her, uh, all the wedding pictures of her daughter. Oh, really? Maybe it's like a bug going around with dogs. It's called a champagne bug. Uh, Rebecca Higgins, Ronald. Thank you, Becky. Becky, I have a daughter named Becky. She's a nurse. In fact, I think she's off today. No, she had to work today. Short New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So. Okay, you know Rebecca. I, mean? I know got you. this isn't frames. This is a. It doesn't matter to you. You can't have it now. Okay, guys. Dee's giving me a hard time. I don't like that. Oh, for whatever. So do you think D and I, when we have our sales together, like we should coordinate what kind of things we're selling? Like we're both selling. Um... I think you should have me sing in between. We could sell, <laughs> we could sell like lottery tickets or who knows, you know. And me sing. And Ron can sing and I'll have to gag him. Hi, Corey. Hi, sweetheart. I haven't. Seen or heard from you in a blue moon. I hope you're doing or blue well. Or flamingo. I hope you are doing well. Happy and Hornet said she wants a mishmash. A mishmash? Well, mishmash is what we give. You know what, mishmash? I was taking a bath. <laughs> he does this to me all the time. You ought to live with him. You know, it was long about Saturday night. Okay, guys, I have something that I myself think is very cool. Um, it is going to be on Wednesdays, the first Wednesday of the month, first Wednesday of the month at six o'clock Eastern time. So this coming Wednesday, we have a sale at six o'clock. Now I have this vintage microscope kit. If you have grandkids, this would be cool. Yes, the six. Oh, yes, D, the six. Um, if you wanted to just use it to decorate with, um, everything's in here, but like one vial I noticed was missing it was vial. Um, it's got the instructions, the foam, it has a bunch of pre-made slides. And then it has the, I'm not sure what's in these little vials. Oh, Pegasus, Pegasus. What is this? Oh, it's the stuff to tint the, to tint the uh, stuff. Anyway, it's very nice looking. Very nice. Oops. And I keep dropping that one. But, um. You could tilt it back to you. I think it's kind of cool. And it's in really nice shape. I'm guessing that the, whoever had it didn't use it. That they did not play with it. And the microscope kit is falling, the lid's falling on the floor, is $10. Number three. And it's number three. And it was from Sears and Roebuck. Sears and Roebuck.
Good to... Elizabeth, Lucid Curios, gotcha, girlfriend. Can I come over and play with it with you? I remember when we were in uh, nursing school, when I was in nursing school, there was this girl named Kathy. And we had Bunsen burners, if anybody ever had chemistry or anything. Yep. You had a Bunsen burner thing. It's like a flame. Just So we were doing something, and then we had to look in the microscope at it. Well, this girl got too close to her Bunsen burner and caught her hair on fire. Which, it wasn't really funny at the time, but, you know, I think back about it now, and I'm, like, thinking how... Let's see the front of that box again. How could you be so goofy? You want one for your no, birthday? No, I, I was just looking at the front of the box, that's all. Yeah. Very cool, Lucid. Complete with slides and chemicals. And it has a wreck. This is a part that cracks me up. It has wreck and The thrill of the thrift accused you of burning her ear. Why did you do that, Jamie? Uh, 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 um, it has rack and pinion focusing. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, I'm stretching here. <laughs> John and Mary Ann. <laughs> bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. <laughs> Hi, Thrift You. Which Thrift You are you? Are you Sam or are you Sarah? I'm going to say Sarah. Oh, Sam. Hi, Sam. Oh, hi. Hello, Alex. How are you, honey? So, my next item could be used as a weapon or it could be used as a cutting board. And it is really a cool one. It is a totally bamboo. It's the shape of Maryland bamboo cutting and serving board. And it has like their logo kind of thing stamped in the wood right here. I don't know if you've ever used a, a <laughs> bit. <laughs> what? <laughs> now I'm, I'm breaking out into thrash men. Um, I don't know if you've ever used bamboo cutting boards, but they're the best. I mean, I would never use anything else. But um, this one's kind of odd, you know, so you don't have a big surface. But it would be really neat to, like, um, maybe cut cheese or something, and you could actually, you know, go around serving it or... I don't know. Anyway. It is, what is a Delaware? Oh, yeah, it's... No, it's uh, Maryland. It's Maryland? Shape. So if you know anybody that lives in Maryland... I know of Maryland. Um, oh, Maryland. I'm not really sure how it goes, but anyway, it is uh, five dollars, and it's number eight. Five dollars, and it's number eight. Yeah, I haven't either. I haven't seen hide no hair of any. Oh, Vinny lives in Maryland? Oh. This would be a cool gift for him. I get that's why you said that. Oh, I'll be darned. I didn't remember that. Huh. All right. Let's see. Okay, I have another Avon bottle. Oh, oh number, number eight. Hey, good boy. Anna. Anna, good boy. Thank you, Anna. Oh, was he? Yeah, I was in and out, so I didn't see. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't see him. Okay, my next thing is an Avon bottle. 
It says Avon, but it doesn't have the label. I believe this was bubble bath at one time. But it is cobalt blue and very pretty. Um, some of the gold is kind of worn off of it, but it's really a pretty bottle. Hi, Cam's Folly. And... Oh, she wants my uh, email again. Hold on, I know. Yeah. See if you can. can. What would you do it? You're too busy. Well, you have to do it. No, they, you don't. Uh, read it. Ron is going to do that in just a minute. Okay, so anyway, the Avon bottle is um, $8, and it's number 16. $8, number 16. It's like an urn. And that would be D, the thrill of the thrift. There's like an imperfection on the handle D that looks like a chip, but it's really an imperfection. It's kind of a weird thing right here. I'll tell you, Avon made some of the prettiest yeah. things. Okay, guys, here is the, if you can read it, here is my email address again, Jackie, J-A-C-K-I, G-M-A-S, D-E-M-A-S-S, -S -S, all lowercase, at A-O-L dot com. Hey, uh, Chicago lady, did you, uh, is it freezing rain where you're at? It's been freezing rain here all day. Did somebody buy something while I was doing that? Annette Fane, hello. D got uh, this. Number Oops. 16. Okay, D, got you, sister. Okay. I'm going to have to get some more water Okay. Um, I am located in Indiana at the uh, tip of the lake of Lake Michigan in Valparaiso, Indiana. Um, I live not far from Chicago, like 45 minutes from Chicago. All right. I have another little tea bag holder. This one does have a repair. The little tip had broken off and it was repaired. Uh, it is from Florida. Chicago lady says it's been freezing all day. Yuck. Yeah, I heard we're supposed to get uh, snow on top of the freezing rain. I don't know. Anyway, this one is from Florida. And uh, it is $3, number 26. $3, number 26. Okay, guys. I have something that I think is absolutely gorgeous. And it is this very... It's a thin glass... Um, bud vase. Show the top. I will. It is etched here. If you can see that. Bring it down. I will. It's... Fluted on the edge. I know, but it was way above the picture. I, I'm not done, Ron. I'm showing the whole thing. And uh, there's no chips or cracks or anything. It's quite large. I mean, it's large. But it tapers off and it goes into a sterling silver, not sterling, a silver-plated base. 
Um, I did not polish it because I know how y'all are. You like your stuff not polished. But um, I think it would be very pretty polished. And uh, it is $7. And it's number 10. Seven dollars, number ten. Loose the Cheerios. Got you, Elizabeth. This would be so sweet to have, just have on hand. And if somebody, goodness sakes, but we have so many people that are sick anymore. You know, you could just buy a rose and stick it in it and give them as a gift. And it would just brighten up their whole day. My uh, ex-mother-in-law used to do that. She would buy those milk glass bud bases by the car loads. And any friend that, you know, was down in the dumps or sick, she'd buy them a carnation. At, you know, she was older. She'd buy a carnation and put it in there and take it to them. Yeah. I always thought that was a sweet, sweet Poodle thing. Poodle says to uh, a rose, too. A rose would be gorgeous, yes. Or you could, you know. All right. I gotta pick this up. Lucy says it is a gift, but I'll tell you about it in the email. Okay, gotcha. All right, guys. I know I had some unusual things today that it, you don't usually have in sales, but I was kind of in the mood for that. I have this um, set of the little tray is a little wonky, but I'm sure it could be unwonked. But it is um, metal dishes. It's a little tray. It's, there's three cups. Look at the little cups. Isn't that cute? And they're, I mean, for as old as they are, they're in good condition. And then there's four saucers. Um... I believe that's a saucer. It is. No, this has got to be the saucer. Yeah, this is the saucer here. So the little plates are like dessert plates. And then there are four uh, dinner plates. And then the tray. This is the company. Uh, the company's name is... Kitchen. J. Shine, made in the USA, and this is the company that made like metal um, sand buckets and shovels and metal wind-up toys, metal friction toys, uh, dowel dishes, all kinds of stuff from like the 50s. Anyway, this set of, I think there was 17 pieces if I'm not mistaken is ten dollars and it's number 13. ten dollars number 13 for the metal wow um i see blue lori got it first okay I had so many of my kids' doll dishes, and I gave them to the Goodwill, and after I did it, I wanted to punch myself in the head. I saved a few little things, and that was it. There were metal ones. It was all kind of stuff. But anyway, thank you very much. I think you will enjoy those. Um, I might have showed everything. I'm not sure. Let me see. Uh, yep. Okay, let me have the list then. Okay, and then you can. Then I, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm. That's all I had for tonight. Like I said, because I'm going to be doing a sale on Wednesday, and I wanted to kind of um oh. not be overwhelmed. So what I'm going to do is show you some of the things 
that didn't sell and see if anybody's interested in them. See, now, they're putting your email on there, and it's coming out fine. Oh, really? Now, see, before it wouldn't come if, out. If you buy anything tonight, please email Jackie and at JackieDemass at AOL.com. Don't forget to include your name, address, and PayPal email. Thank you, Vintage and Vinyl. Well, it wasn't working before, remember? But it doesn't matter. It's working now. Okay. All right. Let me get back to what I was doing here. Oh, where did I put it? Oh, I'm going to re-show you a few things that didn't sell for those that came late. Um, I have the art glass bowl. That is very, very pretty. And I was asking 12. Oh, you will take number 12. All right. So that is, did you see the name on? No. I'll take one. Right. John and Marianne. You got the list. Oh. John. All right, I got you, John and Marianne. Here. Don't forget to send me your information. Okay, what else do I have here? I have the Ellie Smith um, Hobstar and Arches candy dish for $9. Number five. Okay. Happy and Harned. Yep. Kathy, right. gotcha. Let write it down. See, from where you're at, it's harder to do that than from my end. I know, but I can't see this stuff. I would tell you what. All right. Okay, I'm on number nine. I need my pen. I'm, I need a hand. Okay, I have the anchor. He's getting testy. Um, I have the anchor hocking. Uh, Candy dish or whatever. Cashew dish. And it was $10, number nine. $10, number nine. Okay. What's, okay. what's next? Uh, the mugs. Oh, yes, these mugs. The um, stoneware mugs. The Hearthstone mugs. Hearthstone uh, stoneware mugs. From 1982. And um, I was asking nine. But... Um, I could go six dollars for the three of them. Six dollars for the three uh, stoneware, vintage stoneware mugs. They're in beautiful shape. They're very, they're uh, signed and they're very uh, nice and sturdy. Very thick. You won't burn your hands on them. A nice hot chocolate mug, as they say on uh, Walmart. Hallmark, they're having hot cocoa and either sugar cookies or gingerbread cookies all the time. 
It's the only ones they have. You're right, Jennifer. How about roasted cashews? Yeah, they are very nice. They're embossed in the bottom. Okay, what's next, Bonnie? Um, okay, gotta go. Gosh, gotta go to the next uh, page. Uh, the uh, the old bottle. Ooh, my hands are sticky. The, the pop bottle. I don't Burke. know what I don't know what's on that glass, but it's sticky. The, the the Burkhart bottle. Okay. Uh, nobody took the vintage pop bottle Burkhart. Um. Soda bottle contents, eight fluid ounces. Hi, Stephanie. How are you, sweetie? And it is um, $8, number 19. Good for mouth. Neat for yeah, it would be, wouldn't it, in the bathroom? Yeah, because the bottle is cool. And just put a plug. Well, yeah. You put can, a cork. You put a cork in it, yeah. Oh, I never thought of that. Jane Newhouse. Oh. Thank you, Jane. See, that's why I need people to tell me what to do. Because <laughs> I don't remember. I don't ever think of these things. I don't think of them. All right, what's next? Okay, uh, the beautiful Japanese porcelain bowl. Oh, really? Is he feeling any better, hon? Um, Stephanie from Thrifting Adventure. Her dad has throat cancer. Oh. Oh, does he? My ex-husband had it, and uh, he's doing well, so I'm sure your dad will be fine. I didn't see Poodle last night. I should have stayed up all night, I guess. I watched all night. I was going to put it on the TV. I should have. <clears throat> um, and I still have the... Um, Hand painted the Japanese porcelain. Um, hand painted was decorated in Hong Kong. It's a porcelain bowl, and it has um, it is encased in brass. And that is twelve dollars. Number twenty. Twelve dollars. Number twenty. It's a very beautiful bowl, very beautiful painting. Okay, what else, son? Uh, the uh, the swan, the white swan. Okay, and I have the uh, little white swan. That's uh, Kay's creation. It was cracked, and I glued it. Uh, you can't even tell, really. I can't tell. I got to keep looking for it. It's right there. Thanks to the Goodwill. It, it was in pristine condition when I got it, but it got a couple of little flea bites inside too, but they don't show. But anyway, this is three dollars. Very pretty little swan. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I can't. Home sweet home. I keep losing my chat, so I never know. Um, I still have the little um toothpick holder, home sweet home. Um <clears throat> and it is three dollars. I believe it was made in Japan. I, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, 
And how much? Oh, uh, it number? is uh, three dollars. Number. Oh no! Hang on a second. Yeah, and twenty-four. Number twenty-four. Three dollars. Number twenty-four. Well, honey, I will pray for you at Jane, Jane Newhouse. I'll keep praying for you and um, be optimistic because there's so much they can do. Hi, Maria. I didn't see you. Oh, no. She's... I missed you. I'm sorry. Shoot, I got new glasses and I still can't see. The next thing is a tea bag. You're sleeping 12 to 14 hours every night, vintage conversation. I wish I could say that, but I know what that's not good either, so. Um a sale or oh, later. Uh, what's day? Friday? Um, <laughs> well, Jeffrey used to have this, but I don't think he's having one tonight. I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, okay, I also have the tea bag holders. Um, I can go $2 on this. On this one, it's number 26. Five. Wait a second. I, you got a 1976 tea bag holder. That's that's a different one. This is the Florida one. The Florida one is $3, so you want two. Right. You, you can have this for $2. Number 26. Or you can have the one that's from 1976 for $2. Okay, what else? Uh, the metal bowl. Right there. Oh. Um, I have this gorgeous metal planter. It's... Uh, Copper and brass, and I'm thinking stainless. Oh, so that I would stop. All right, I will hurry. Um, this is eight dollars, number twenty-seven, for the uh, copper and brass and stainless steel. It is brass with these outer layers. Planter. Oh, well. Yeah, I was going to say I wasn't even on two hours yet. Oh, well. Whatever. Anyway, that's a beautiful bowl. It's a planter, not a bowl. It uh, if you use it as a bowl, it'd be gross. No, you just clean it up. No, it's uh, you could drop something inside it uh, that that fit it. So you could still use it for uh, a, still a candy dish that was something that would fit down inside that, or or the wonderful roasted cashews. You know. Do not listen to him, guys. Okay, what else, honey? Uh, cat bottle. I have a cat bottle, guys. Cat bottle. With Woo! cat juice. And uh, this here cat bottle is an Avon bottle. Yes, and it's got uh, a very, very nice scent. I loved it somewhere in it. So it's vintage because they've made that for a long time. And the little kitty cat bottle is milk glass, except for the head. That's plastic. And it's number $28, 
Rebecca Higgins. Thank you, Rebecca. We got you. I wonder what I did with my marker. I didn't put the lid on it. And is that all? That's the bottom. Yes, they are becoming uh, very in again. My father didn't live long enough to see that day. He wanted them to, he thought he was going to make a million dollars on his Avon bottles. But he didn't, but well. So guys, um, that's all I have for you tonight. Um, you can just stay and we'll chat for a while or you can go over and chat over on Jeffrey's channel with him and Misty or, or whatever. But I will have, um, the sale Wednesday is at six o'clock Eastern time. And, uh, we will have a Wednesday sale every first Wednesday of the month. So did my mother. She was uh, in the President's Club. I have an entire tote or tub or whatever you want to call it, full of her awards and um, things that she, only Avon, you know, uh, what did they call them? Avon ladies. Only Avon ladies got these things. And um, I have all kinds of pins with like little tiny ruby chips and stuff like that. There's figure. Ooh. Jennifer Lab Mama. Cashew Brittle. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Oh, I know. Jennifer Lab Mama, Cashew Brittle. When I was in um, high school, even, uh, when I was like a junior in high school, I still was wearing the kids clone. It was called Pretty and Peach. It was the most, it didn't smell like peaches. It was just the most pretty smell. And then once I got to be like, but I also wore like um, one called Rajon's. And one called Brocade. And I think I wore Honeysuckle. But I wore a lot of Avon because that was, you know, that was the cool thing. It was convenient. I, Yeah, I know a lot of people like Sweet Honesty. I don't know why I never liked it. But I, um, I think that, um. I, I know I just bought some not too awful long ago. Like, there was three different scents. And I still buy it, you know, from time to time because um, I love, I still love um, Amari. That smells real good. Tell her I'm going, tell them I'm going bye-bye. Okay. I love everybody. I'll talk to you later. Hand bottles. Oh, I know. I did too, and I still do. Like, if you go, you know, you'll go somewhere sometimes, and they'll just have them sitting out, like, uh, in a restaurant. They'll have them, like, on the ledge on the way out in the window or something. I'll pick one up and look at it. I know um, we love you too, Jane. Um... Yeah, Avon wasn't cheap. Uh, it's still not cheap. It's, I think their prices are certainly competitive with other perfumes uh, and colognes and stuff. Yeah, but it wasn't like Gucci or... Uh, Josie, Butterfly Kisses, thank you so much. What you say her, her, her real name was? It was something else. I, I forgot what your real name was, but... Um, you have a happy new year too, and I hope to see you on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, they're, you know what's good about their costume jewelry? Uh, even when I was selling it a few years back, 
they were telling me that it, it it's lead free and it always has been Marianne um yeah it's lead free it always has been which is nice so that you know you don't break out from it bye Sam I see you soon Ron Bond <laughs> Lucid, you never knew they had jewelry. I have a bunch of Avon jewelry. I was going to sell some of it. The problem is um, a lot of them are chokers that I have, the necklaces, because um, that was in style. That was what was in style. I can't wear them anymore, but, I mean, a lot of you thinner people could. Bye, Stephanie. Take, take a rest, honey. I'll be thinking and praying for your daddy. Did you, Marianne? I, you know, I think every um, a lot of women did. I, I sold it in my 20s, and I was selling it again, like, when I was... Uh, I didn't sell it for a long time because my mom did. Then I think I was selling it was I was about 50. It's been about 20 years I was selling it. In fact, I just got rid of the rest of my stuff I had accumulated. The samples. 20-year-old samples. Um, what you going to get, Katie? Yeah, I like selling jewelry, too. I was actually looking today into getting some of those uh, jewelry jars and jewelry boxes from uh, Goodwill. I ordered some jewelry from some china company and they swear they uh delivered it i never got it so they told me to take it up with the post office i'm not even sure how to go about that i loved the tiny lipsticks yes i'll tell you what i also loved was the little um packet with a cologne um and you could swab it on you like with a little, you know, like a little wipe. Well, they got to where they didn't have it anymore. They just had like a thing. You opened it up and you just kind of rubbed it on you where you couldn't even smell it. But when I was selling it, they still had the little, the little packets. Sometimes they even had little vials that you could get, depending on what it was. Yeah, I remember when... When, when I was selling it, you would get your little lipsticks in. When I was selling it, when I was in my, my, like around 50, when I was 50, you got samples in like little packets, little bags. Yeah, I did too. I did too. But when my mother was selling it, and when I was selling, the first time I was selling it, you got like a sample case. And it had every kind in there. And people could just pull it out and look at it or kind of put it on their wrist or something. And that I liked. I wonder if it's raining or freezing rain still. It sure sounds very loud out there. So what is everybody planning to do the rest of the night? Yes, yes. I have the Avon Liddy bag I have now is just a tote bag. Thank you. I got these from Maria. I got two of uh, these glasses and then there were four uh, wine glasses. And I gave the wine glasses to my daughter for Christmas. And she absolutely loved them. But I kept these because I figured, she, you know, maybe it's my lipstick on here. Uh, she, <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. I do remember that. I think the thing that I ever sold that I hated the most 
was my first husband conned me into selling Amway with him. And I used, actually I used Amway products because um, the one product they have is like a natural thing and my hands broke out so bad that I used it to do dishes and all kinds of stuff. Well, then my husband decided that um, we can make a million bucks selling Amway. His friend said we could take vacations on the government. No. All kind of crazy stuff. Well, they started selling jewelry. And I'll tell you what, my husband, he loved selling the jewelry. We'd have people come over and he'd be showing all the jewelry. They had nice jewelry also. But it was expensive, it was, I thought. I have a few pieces of that left, but. Yeah, I meant to thank everybody. It, it, it was a great sale tonight. Um, lots of people came. I was very happy to see so many people. It makes for a lot more fun when there's more people to chit chat. And, you know, the uh, chat is going really fast and stuff like that. It's fun. But, uh, yeah, I think that, uh, it was a fun, it was a very fun night. I, I was, it seemed like it had been a long time since I'd had a sale, and it had been, and then when I went thrifting the other day, I was excited about that. It was kind of nice to get back in the groove of things, because, um, I, I needed time off to get stuff done, but. I do too, and I think I, I thought it was gorgeous when I bought it. Um, I'm glad you like it because I think it'll be pretty in your home. But um, yeah, so I, I'm you know I really had a lot of fun tonight, even when Ron's cranking me up. <laughs> He's been a very sweet man the last few days. Very sweet. So, uh, Maria, that happens to me on your sales too. Every, you know, we have lives that we have to live sometimes. But I'm having one with D on Wednesday, so if you're not busy, come to that one at six o'clock. Who, uh, me and D, uh, Elizabeth, or me and Ron, or both? Ah, I have a lot of fun when D and I do a sale. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just fun. It was kind of, it was fun when me and, and uh, D and Vinny did it, but I kind of like just, it depends on who the person is and um, I, I, didn't, I don't really know Vinny that well. Hi, Kim. Everybody just got home. Where'd you get home from? Where did you come from, my girl? Oh, Diana. You're, that's right. You're Diana. You're Diana, and you have a nice kind of a deep voice like me. Yeah, I heard that you wanted to do one with me and Deanne next month. Yeah, Deanna, um, Deanna, Diana, I have to, uh, catch up on your videos. I love watching your videos. I love, I love watching a lot of people's videos. I, I just don't seem to find time. I was asking D. I I said, I sometimes feel guilty. I can't. You know, I just can't seem to catch up on watching people. I think a lot of people just kind of watch a few minutes and then they go to the next one. But I'm kind of weird. I always watch it all the way through. So, I mean, I don't know if that's weird. I just um, think it's polite. But I guess if I only watched part of it, then I could watch everybody. 
Yeah, because you never know what might happen at the end. Something cool may... And that's... Speaking of that. I was looking the other day when I was thrifting, but I did not find anything. They normally have lots of cool, really nice vintage stuff. But I'm trying to find something. I still never had a giveaway for my reaching... Um, a thousand subscribers so um, I'm hoping maybe tomorrow I can like go to an antique store and look around and see what I can find I'm not sure what I want to give away yeah I hear you um, I, I'm not sure what you know would be a cool giveaway I just know that when I see something I'll, I'll know I'll know what it is so that's what I'm hoping for. I'll go in and it'll be like, whoa. So did everybody get their fill of Christmas? Oh my gosh. Are you all still there? You know what, Jane, I was, you have a lot of subscribers and your, um, your sale, you had a lot of people there today. I mean, it's getting better all the time. Yeah, I am too. Uh, I've tried to tell Ron when I say somebody's name, would he write it down? You know, like Jay Newhouse, doggone happy vintage or whatever. So that I can get both names, but he doesn't do that. He doesn't, he doesn't help me as much. So, well, tomorrow is D's sale at 3 o'clock Eastern. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll be there. Um... I don't have any, I don't have any big plans for the weekend. <laughs> oh, that's right. And Maria says that one. I'm glad that she made it later because when she had him in the morning, I was usually in a coma at that time. I was up, but I was just like, Ugh. I need at least two cups of coffee before I even know what day it is. And even then, I don't know what day it is. You know, it's got to the point where uh, like I said, today, I guess because it was New Year's Day, uh, I kept thinking it was Sunday all day long. And then finally, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Ron says, do you have a sale today? Oh, yes. So I started, you know, going crazy, getting stuff together. I had my table with dishes on it for, you know, Christmas dishes. I had to get all that stuff off. So, yeah, it was a, uh, Maru's channel? Oh, uh, it's probably, it was probably something I said weird. John and Marianne, what, so you're Marianne, why am I calling you John and Marianne? Um, where do you work at? Um, you have a great night at work, working wherever you do, and, um, oh, geez, Walmart. God bless you, sweetheart. You know, I haven't been in Walmart in 10 months, 10 months. Um, hopefully I'm going to go soon. Yeah, Maria's channel is uh, called California. I don't know, I just call her California. Maria California Thrifter, and it's at 1 o'clock. 
I gotta dig my buttons out for you too. I gotta I've got some stuff to send you, Maria. I just need to send it. And we were talking about um packages. Uh Stephanie sent me a pair of pants. Took two weeks. I bought a pair of pants. That that took two weeks. Some some people's stuff I haven't even got yet. It's it's just going so slow that it's crazy. Well, you know what, guys? I am going to let you go. I've been on here a couple hours. And um, I'm going to go and make sure he doesn't turn on Westerns. And watch some boob tube tonight. And I will, uh, I'm going to start packing my stuff right away. Because uh, I want to make sure I'm not lagging and lollygagging. Diana, Happy New Year to you, honey. Um, okay. Love you too, sweetheart. Yeah, I just... Well, you know you know how it is. It takes you at least a day to pack. For me, I'm not, a, I'm not as... Um, as I explained to Dee... She tells me what she does in a day, and I, but she's like 11 years younger than I am. And I said, well, I'll do a couple of things, and I've got to sit down for a while. Then I do a couple more things, and I... Now, granted, packing is sitting most of the time, but sometimes, you know, you got to get up, got to get a box, this, that. I try to keep everything right at hand, but it doesn't always work, so my nose itches right here. Anyway, have a good night. I will see you all Wednesday. Um, I will be sending out the invoices probably Monday, um, maybe Sunday. I'm not sure, but probably Monday. I love you guys so, so much. And, uh, be safe, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, and don't forget to wear your masks when you're in public. Bye.